Good morning. Happy Valentine's Day to everyone. Um, this is Mornings with Michael. Tuesday, happy Tuesday to everyone. Hope it's a bowl of roses for everyone, wherever you are. Um, just want to um, get this off and started and take a look with everything. Uh, CPI came in hot today. Um, so they're looking at a uh, greater than 50% chance that uh, there's going to be an increase in interest rates uh, come June. And uh, the rest of the year, um, it looks like they're going to hold interest rates strong. Um, so they think that the economy is going to remain strong and that there may not be a recession. So interest rates will have to remain higher for a longer period of time. But let's take a look at our charts first. Um, let's Take a look at the VIX first. Uh, the VIX is pulling back here. Um, this is, the CCI has kind of dropped off the cliff, so looks like it's going to pull back a little bit more. Um, the stochastic MACD has uh, angled to its um, in the lower range here, so we'll just continue to watch that. That looks good for the S&P 500. So let's go look at uh, some charts here. <clears throat> this is one of the strongest stocks that um, gapped up uh, today. Um, Air test systems, we'll continue to watch that. It's, it's kind of pulling back. Um, let's go take a look at the dollar first. The dollar is... Uh, kind of in a trading range right now. It did pull back early this morning. It bounced off of this 10 and 20 day moving average. <clears throat> the 10 year um, is at 3.76. It's uh, moving up. It's up uh, about one and a quarter percent. Um, I believe the one year is at the uh, a little over 5%. And let's take a look at the 20 year. Yields on the 20 year are getting pretty close to 3%, 2.993 to 2.995. Look at gold. Gold is pulling back some more. It's pulled back below its uh, 50 day moving average. Silver continues to pull back. Um, let's take a look at the NASDAQ. The NASDAQ has been bouncing around, going from negative to positive to negative, and it's down just slightly today. S&P 500, about the same. It's down about point. 5%, half of a percent. The Dow is it's a pretty, pretty good sideways tight action. That, that's pretty positive. Uh, if you look out for the last, you take a look on a weekly chart. That's a, that's pretty good tight action. Very good consolidation. Take a look at the small caps. Small caps are pulling back, uh, similar to the Dow in between them, 0.35 to 0.5. It's under its 50 day. It looks like it's bounced off of its 20 day. <clears throat> Let's look at the um, software stock in the UK. Um, it's down 15% today. It had been moving up and was in a pretty tight fashion, but yesterday it pulled back in anticipation of the earnings. So um, my feeling was it was going to have a negative uh, earnings announcement, and sure enough, it did. Earnings were only up 11%, and I guess their guidance um, may have been even worse. So we could take a look and see what are some other negative Let's 
see if we can. Um, Look at our down on volume screen here. Yeah, and Dava is the number one down on volume. Another UK stock that had been doing well before uh, continues to pull back bicycle therapeutics. Um, outside medical down, down on their earnings report of close to 13%. Looks like a lot of uh, biotech uh, is pulling back here. 14, um, Entrada Therapeutics down 14%. Here's a dry freight of Tanker down um, about 8%. Geo Group is a REIT that uh, the big short um, I had been um, going big in, it's down about 16%. QSR for restaurant brands is pulling back about 4%. And one more here. Textainer group down close to 8% on negative 5% um, earnings growth. And um, let's take a look. What's moving? Global foundries had their earnings popping up uh, into the buy zone. Seven hundred percent earnings growth. That's pretty amazing. So their stock is up uh, between seven and eight percent. Um, Arista Networks also in tech. Um, it had pulled back um, quite a bit uh, this morning down to one around the 130 area. Now it's up 141, up close to 4%. Uh, lattice semiconductor. Um, is up a little over 6%. Really moving out of the base. They had a little bit of consolidation once they broke out here. Uh, Fastly, which we profiled yesterday. Um, it's adding on a little bit, it's up two and a half percent here. Monday, which we also profiled yesterday, uh, continues to rise. It's up another eight percent today. Um, in mode, uh, which had the new technology of uh, uh, radio frequency to uh, uh, minimize. Uh, Invasive cosmetic procedures um, is up a little over 7%, 22% earnings growth. They sell these products to uh, cosmetic doctors, uh, plastic surgeons, etc. cetera. Um, look at a contract manufacturer, continues to do well. Uh, their earnings. Uh, we're due out today. So they're up um, a little over 6%. Um, no. uh, actually, I'm sorry, this is not, uh, this is uh, Flex LNG, um, engages in transportation of liquid natural gas. Um, let's take a look at Flex. Um, it was, it's trading in a pretty tight area, um, it was up at 2512 before had a little bit of a pullback to 23 and this is a pretty good, um, formation here. Look at JBL, same area. So let's look at some of the um, ETFs. It uh, looks like uh, the metals are stabilizing here. Oil and gas trying to stabilize here. And 
looks like we got a three day tight here, which is pretty good. We'll just continue to watch that. Uh, drillers looks about the same. Look at um, oil prices pull back a little bit, have bounced off of their 20 day moving average here, down about 0.37%. Look at natural gas. In, it's popping up about four and a half percent, but it's been down for so long. Um, really would look to uh, see it get above its 20 day moving average before be uh, of any interest. Financials. I'm pulling back, but they kind of remain in a pretty tight range. Take a look at transports. Seem to be pulling back a little bit. The area of the transports that seem to be doing the best are the oil transportation stocks. This is a UK company that uh, is trending well. All of them seem to be trending well. International Seaways, TNK, and of course we just looked at FLNG popping up. So that seems to be a trending area. And um, consumer discretionary, it's trying to hang in there. It's above its 20 day and below its 10 day moving average. Basic materials. Um, it's under its 10 and 20 day moving average. So um, we'll see if it continues to pull back. Real estate. It's in between his 10 and 20 day moving average in kind of a tight area. Industrials, they're hanging in there. They're relatively in a tight range. They're above his 10 and 20 day moving average. So in there, look like in a good location. Um, and then we'll look at healthcare and Healthcare is in a tight range. Let's look, biotech, biotech. Um, looks like the XBI is in a tight range, is pulled back quite a bit. Could be area of a cup with a handle. The, the good news is the volume is lower on the pullback than on the buying. We'll just see if any buying comes into this. The relative strength is line is pretty weak. And the rating pretty weak right now. Uh, take a look at IBB, the other biotech. Uh, this one is having trouble pulling back. Uh, so yeah, that's pulling back a little bit. It's bounced below its 10, 20, and 50-day moving averages here. We'll just continue to watch that. So that's kind of our wrap up for Valentine's Day. Wherever uh, your Valentine's Day, I hope it's a good one. Remember, the one of the first people that you should love is yourself. Um, can't share love with others until you love yourself. And um, in that essence, continue working on your goals and your activities, and may all of your activities be fun and joyous ones today. Um, continue, uh, this has been Mornings with Michael. It's been for educational, informational, and entertainment purposes only. If you have a personal financial question, feel free to text us at 415-828-7997. Hope you have a beautiful Tuesday, or go out there and make a difference.